What's up all my Ewoks, Tribbles, Droids, and Wookiees? It's Anna, also known as that Star Wars girl. And in today's video, I'm going to just be giving you guys a little bit of an update on, I guess, like my plans for the channel and my life. Now, I usually don't like talking about my personal life, but in this uh, sense, it, it is kind of necessary. So, a lot of you guys have noticed that I have been MIA, especially here on the channel. Like, I haven't been able to post any content aside from the usual streams I host, which is usually just like once or twice a month on the Jack show. And that I've also been kind of MIA on other shows that I'm usually a regular on, like Simpcast or Flashcast. And, you know, that when I'm even on my own shows that I'm low energy and I'm not... uh I'm not as present as I usually have been. And you guys are all right, 100%. And uh, I've tried to be as transparent as I can that my health has severely declined, hence why I'm not even on camera. I'm actually pulling a George Costanza and uh, am laying under my desk right now with my microphone pointed at me. So I hope you guys don't get the background noise from my PC. But I've just, I've not been well. And it, it's very hard to sit up straight and, uh, you know, stare at a, a computer screen for hours on end. And I just, I haven't been able to do that like I used to. And I know wh now why that is. And so it's, it's nice to finally get answers. So I guess, you know, I gotta, I gotta just kind of rip off the bandaid and talk about it. It's not something I usually would be comfortable talking about, but, uh, here it goes. So, uh, if any of you guys are familiar with, like, what's been going on with my life, you guys will know that I uh, got married back in February, and then I went on my honeymoon. We went to Rio in Brazil, and I always typically get sick on planes from the recycled air, and I'll get a little bit of a cold, and I did on the way to Rio, but the humidity and the amazing, amazing weather there cure quickly cured me of that, and then I was, con I was so happy I didn't get sick on the way back, and then... I got home, tried to get back into the swing of things at the end of February and like packing up calendars, which I was so mad that they were late again. And I'm very grateful to everyone that's very understanding and you know, the fact that I you know, had stuff going on in my real life, like my wedding and then that I got sick and all of that. So thank you to everyone that was understanding. And, you know, I was making good progress. I got, you know, 80% of it done. And then March came around. And one day in, in March, I just, I, I couldn't lift my head. I, uh, I woke up and <laughs> I, uh, you know, I tried getting up and like going about my day and my, the rest of my body was fine. Like I didn't have a stomach ache. I, I didn't feel bad anywhere. So it was just my head and I just got terrible, terrible vertigo. And anytime I would try to stand or, or keep my head up for an extended period of time, I just, I just started puking and the vertigo just got so bad and I couldn't get out of bed. And if I did get out of bed to like do anything, it was immediately puke, puke, puke. It got to the point where there was nothing left and I, I couldn't even sit up to like eat. So it was just a bunch of bile coming out of my stomach and it, it was bad. And that went on for most of March and then pretty much all of April and it's been absolute hell. And I just kept waiting for it to get better. And it didn't. And I experienced this a long, long time ago. When I was in college, I uh, unfortunately got attacked by this psychopath whammon. And I was in the hospital. And because of the damage that she did to, like, the back of, like, my head and my spine, it's like... There's nothing doctors can really do when it's a brain injury. And what they told me was basically you either can, you know, live with this pain and, you know, just take higher dose pain meds and blood thinners. Or uh, we can do experimental surgery and try to go and see it even though, you know, things are swollen back there. And uh, you could become a quadriplegic. And I was like, I'll take the pain meds. So ever since that happened, I've been in extreme pain every single day. And I've just kind of learned to live with it. And, you know, it, she didn't just fuck up my head. She fucked up a lot of things. Like, I was in uh, college, and I was learning how to... Well, I was almost done with my degree, actually. I was a junior in college, and uh, I had to... I lost control of, like, my my drawing hand. 
And so I had to like relearn everything and like reteach all of that, which was absolute hell. And so, yeah, so that, but that was a long time ago. And I thought maybe like this was just like it, I just had, I don't know, like I wouldn't say like a relapse, but I just thought, oh, I've experienced this kind of pain and vertigo before, even though it was a long time ago, maybe it's just, maybe I'm just getting hit with a wave of it again and it'll go away because this has happened before. Happens like maybe every three years or so, but never this bad. So I was like, all right, I I think that there's actually something wrong because I haven't been able to get out of bed for over a week and it's never lasted this long. And uh, so this is when, remember, (laughs) this is the good news part of it. So then uh, I found out that, uh, yeah, I don't know if you guys have noticed, there's this face hugger that's always on my microphone. Well, uh, apparently the face hugger got me and uh, infected me with an alien. So there's this little alien growing inside me right now. And uh, that <laughs> this little alien is really resistant and is not affected by this at all. But the cause of my vertigo is from this little alien. And I guess what happened, which I didn't know this because I've never been infected with an alien before, is that uh, when you're infected with an alien, is that <laughs> uh, your blood, this is what the doctor told me, because I, I did, I went into the doctor and it's like, oh, yeah, you're infected with an alien. I was like, oh, okay, so this is normal? Like, I haven't, I've never heard of these kind of symptoms before. And they're like, well, because of my prior condition with my, with my head, uh, <laughs> apparently when you uh, are infected with an alien, you produce more blood. And it, your blood becomes like, what, what does she say, like denser or thicker or something like that. It's, she used a lot of doctor terminology. And uh, so apparently because when you're growing this little alien, you are producing all this blood and it becomes denser. So that was messing with my prior injury. And that was what was causing uh, all of my vertigo. And so they got me on this other medication now that, like, uh, the stuff I was taking before, it, like, didn't affect it because I guess, luckily, uh, the stuff I had been taking is some that, like, women usually take when they're infected with aliens. And so I did I got freaking lucky there. So thanks, sweet baby Jesus, for that. <laughs> I know you guys all tease me for my baby Jesus collection, but uh, I guess those little baby Jesus looking out for my little alien but so, yeah, so all of that was causing, or the, the little alien effect was causing all of my vertigo and why I couldn't lift my head up or anything like that. But so now I have a, the medication from the doctor that's supposed to help. It's supposed to be at the end of, uh, I guess, like the first three months of being infected. You, uh, that's like the worst of it because your body doesn't, it's not used to all of this. It's not used to all the stuff that comes with being infected. And so, yeah, so this this is a good news part. I found out what it was and, uh, there's a light at the end of the tunnel, supposedly, supposedly. And here, here's the thing, guys, you would never be able to tell that I was infected by an alien. I have done nothing but lose weight and, uh, (laughs) I've been fine, like, on that aspect. Like, physically, I don't look, I mean, I do look a little skinnier than I used to because I did, in April, I lost 10 pounds because I wasn't able to get up and exercise or, or leave my bed at all. And so, yeah, that that's what's going on. I've been infected. The, the little alien is fine. Uh, I have to go in every two weeks uh, to get a checkup now because of uh, my obviously previous condition and uh, this little thing is fine I swear it's like the most resistant little thing ever when I every time I go in they're like oh my gosh it's like moving around I'm like oh Jesus it's gonna be (laughs) it's gonna be a morning person because of course all of my appointments have been in the morning and so this little thing is kicking it's waving it's like my oh my god I'm, I'm spawning a gymnast guys it's it's the most bizarre thing but uh I guess at the end of the day, yeah, that, that's what's been going on with me. I, I had no idea. And uh, it's, <laughs> it's going to be cool. So I'm sorry that I've been kind of MIA on, on the channel. And I 
I'll try to do my best to get back with it. But right now, I guess my focus is trying to stay as healthy as possible and trying to get back to being active. This new medication they have me on, it does still make me sick. And they said the puking was supposed to stop, but it, it has still been bad. My vertigo has gotten significantly you know, less bad. Like I can function now during the day. I can get up. I can stand up. I can't do it for long periods of time, though. I can probably stay up for about 20 minutes, and then I just get hit with this wave of exhaustion, and I have to, like, lay down, and I'll just pass out, and I'll I'll wake up, you know, maybe 10, 20 minutes later, but it's not good, and so I'm trying to, like, just take it easy, and I'm getting better about standing and sitting up, and trying to get back to like walking around and going out. Me and Peaches, we try to do stuff at least like every weekend. Like we try going to the beach, which is a place where I can walk around and then also sit down anywhere and not have to worry. Uh, Taking my dogs for a walk, our usual route is like 45 minutes, so I can't do the whole thing. But I'm just, I'm slowly trying to get back into being a normal human which I didn't think it was going to be this difficult, but I guess it is. Like, my mom and Peaches's mom, both of them have had four babies, and both of them were like, we never were this bad. And Peaches's mom had twins, and she's like, she told me how sick she was with the twins, but never any kind of symptoms like I have, which I guess I didn't, I, I just didn't think to even know that, something about my previous injury and then growing a a tiny human alien would uh, be this, I guess, traumatic for me because of my previous injury. But it's one of those things that it's like there's nothing I can do except for now that I'm aware of this, that this is going to be a problem that I will always have if I'm ever, you know, well, obviously right now, and then if it ever happens again in the future, this is just something I'm going to have to deal with but now that I'm aware of what it is it's it's far less scary because I I thought I was dying peaches was like we need to go to the emergency room like this isn't normal and like the I mean (laughs) I couldn't imagine I mean I was in my shoes so I couldn't imagine him just watching me not even be able to like stand up without puking it was it was really bad I couldn't even drive my car but yeah I know (laughs) I was planning on this video being like five minutes long and now it's 13 (laughs) minutes so now I'm just kind of rambling but yeah guys that's that's what's been going on and I'm sorry for everyone I still have a few more calendar orders to put out and I'm sorry I've been so bad about it this time this is the worst it's ever been and I sincerely apologize I hope you guys can understand like I I did even when I was sick tried packaging things and I ended up puking all over a bunch of packages and I had to repackage everything nothing got on the actual calendars and orders they were all like in the the envelopes I just had to destroy the envelopes and uh you know repackage them so that sucked but it is what it is and I I just I couldn't get out of bed and the couple times that I have been on streams and I just disappeared that's why I just I would get sick or I just couldn't stay awake anymore and that's that's kind of what's been going on so I'm sorry about the lack of content. I, I, I need to get better about it. But at the end of the day, this uh, this little alien, this little alien that's completely fine and growing. Like they told me, my due date was uh, you know, <laughs> like New Year's, and they're like, oh, it's actually because of how big this thing is, it's actually gonna be around Christmas. I was like, what do you mean how big this is? I don't even have a belly. I'm like, I feel like my stomach is sunken in, not sticking out. What I like. Every other girl that I see, I look up, like, how far along I am and how far along all they are. They got cute little baby bumps. I'm like, I got nothing. People just think I'm crazy and sick and have to walk around with a puke bucket, which I do. I'm not kidding. Like, anywhere I go, I have to take a bucket with me. It sucks. But I'm like, there's nothing. It sucks. But I guess, you know, my mom and his mom both say that it'll come in time. And according to how big this damn thing is, I'm like, why... Why are you not showing? Where are you hiding? I'm like, do I just have all this space inside my body? Which apparently I do. But, uh, yeah. All right. I've rambled enough. Um, 
Thank you everyone so much for watching. I'm going to try, again, I know I said it already, I'm going to try to do better. If anything, I'll just have something like this where you guys can see my, uh, my audio going, like with my cute little avatar on here. Uh, so you guys can see like when I'm talking and stuff for on stream, so at least it's a little bit more visually interesting. But like I said earlier, I have to do the George Costanza because I cannot sit up for long periods of time which makes streaming incredibly difficult. But if I'm laying in bed and, like, talking on my phone, it's it's actually not bad because I'm laying down. So it's going to be different content from now on until I do get back on my feet again. But for right now, uh, you know, it is it is what it is. So I thank everyone so much for understanding and for all of your guys' constant support. It's been been hell <laughs> but you know I'm, I'm happy I'm, I'm really happy me and peaches are really happy my stepdaughter is so excited to finally have a sibling everyone in our family is really really excited and uh yeah this is a, a new chapter of my life that I'm entering into and I'm really really excited about it so you know thank you so much everyone for uh, being there and being uh, awesome supporters you guys are great and uh, I will hopefully get back to making content very very soon so with that being said I'm going to end my rambling and uh, yeah guys thank you so much for watching I hope you guys all have a great rest of your day morning evening afternoon wherever you guys are in the world and may the force be with you because we are really 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 going to need it bye everyone